Hi guys, this is your sister Carrie Ann in Jesus Christ. Right brothers and sisters, I almost did not make this video that I'm doing. But the devil is a liar, so I'm here, okay? But for the before going further, <laughs> I have to say this all the time. Scammers, wicked demonic scammers in the comment section. Using my profile, begging for money, offering ages, giving fake prophecy it's not that anybody anybody that's got my profile that's got my name my face begging money in the comment section where we, where will you and i communicate it's not me all of my details if you need to get in touch with me or bless me or whatever it is in the description box that is where you find all my information in the description box not the comment section all right brothers and sisters okay so as you all know, well, majority of the world probably are already know today that the United Kingdom Queen, Queen Elizabeth, her husband passed away today. All right. Put that in inverted commas today. All right. So this morning when I woke up, I woke up with, you know, with the news that is called Prince Philip, that Prince Philip has passed away and basically long story short weeks or months ago this man was very very sick he had surgery heart surgery at 99 and all of that and what a view all right but there is a couple of reasons why why i'm doing this video brothers and sisters because one of my job as a prophetess is to help wake up the church meaning that things are not what it seems like all right in the realm of the spirit and those of us who are a little bit more sharper a little bit more quicker and sensitive to the spiritual realm we can detect very quickly and understand through the holy spirit what is going on because one thing you've got to understand brothers and sisters is that the media right is controlled by satan if you for once ever 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 think that the media controls that the media is controlled by god or the holy spirit you're wrong yes god is in control and nothing is done without his saying but in terms of manly wicked decision that is made you know the media does that and so this morning when i woke up and i heard the news that prince philip died okay couple things jump out at me in my spirit because the first thing that came to me brothers and sisters and I heard it very plainly very very strongly in my spirit and I heard this man has died weeks ago literally brothers and sisters like weeks ago and I began to search in my spirit and said my God this is true this is absolutely truth and in my spirit i just felt like he died when the harry and megan bombshell leading up to the bombshell leading up to the interview on oprah winfrey with winfrey with um megan and harry leading up to that that that's around the time hallelujah that i was seen in the room of the spirit that this man passed away weeks ago it wasn't months or anything like that but i heard very clearly in my spirit that prince philip passed away weeks ago brothers and sisters and i truly believe that what the spirit of the lord told me in the in my spirit that this man passed away weeks ago i truly believe it now you might say oh so why are they just coming out <laughs> why did you, why why is it that they're just releasing that he died if he died weeks ago well what you've got to understand is that the satanists or the illuminati they work with numbers okay these people literally satan works with numbers and he perverts things all right so let's look at uh today so today is the what date is it today yeah Today is the 9th of April and Prince Philip is 99. So that's three nines. 
if you really flip that upside it down, you get three sixes. Now, that to me is saying that this man is part of, is part of the beast system. He's part of the agenda. All right. So releasing his death today, the 9th of April, is no coincidence because it is planned. Brothers and sisters, we're living in a world where it's a show and a game to the wicked. We are like shepherds, you know, <laughs> and they're playing a massive game. But those of us in the spirit understand what is going on. So those are the two things really that popped out to me when I heard about his death. Number one, he died weeks ago. He died weeks, weeks ago. And now they just choose to release his death because they go with numbers. They go with dates. So today, like I said, it's the 9th of April. All right. And the man is 99. That's three nines. Just turn it back upside it down and you get three sixes. These people have codes. Yes, Lord. Okay. When I said these people have codes, I just received that in my spirit. Like literally I'm doing this video and I said these people have codes. That's what the Holy Spirit just, just this minute downloaded, downloaded in my heart. And when you are of the devil, because Satan works with numbers, uh, they plan it. They plan when they're going to sacrifice you and stuff like that. They plan your death and they can give and they give a date and stuff like that when you are going to die. Obviously, if the Lord intervenes and it doesn't happen, then it doesn't happen and their plans are mashed up. But if God don't intervene and that thing goes through, then they plan your death. The occult, you see, I don't know much about the occult, so I don't want to talk about something that I don't really know much about, but I know that they work with numbers. And the numbers are very, very demonic. It like strengthen. Uh, it like strengthen the, the atmosphere, you know, get more power, something like that with the atmosphere. I mean, those in the occult, will understand what the numbers, you know, somebody can comment in the comment section and give more information on why they why they use numbers. But I know that this man's death it's to do with the numbers and he died ages ago. Now the Lord said to me, the Lord gave me a couple of scriptures that I want to read to you, brothers and sisters, that he gave to me, the most high gave to me. The first scripture I want you to understand because I think the, the, the main I think the main reason why the Lord wants me to do this video because do I care if Prince Philip die? Not really, because they're all wicked. I'm sorry. You know, and um but the Lord wanted me to come on here and do this video, and I think it's because the Lord wants you to wake up and understand the times and the season that we're in that that the things that you're seeing, it's all a game and a show. That is why the realm of the spirit is more real than the natural. Because in the realm of the spirit, there's no lie. There's, there's no lie there. <laughs> Everything there is truth. And it comes, it manifests in the natural. But first, John, watch this. It's, the Lord said, read this to my people so that they may understand. So this is first John chapter... Uh, where am I? First John chapter. So just bear with me, brothers and sisters. All right. First John chapter five and verse nineteen. This is what the Lord says, and we know that we are of God. Hallelujah. This is what I was saying to you earlier. This is what I said. Those of us, some of us, are a little bit more sensitive to the realm of the spirit. We understand what is going on in the spirit. Um, and others will get there. It's just going to take a bit of time, you know, but you will, those of you who are not there yet, you will. But this is beautiful. Watch this. And we know, you and I, we know that we are of God. Watch this. And the world, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. 
Bible doesn't lie. Bible does not lie, brothers and sisters. If the, if, if the word of Yah says that the whole world lies in wickedness, that is what it is. There's no two ways about it. There is absolutely no two ways about it. And, you know, those of us who know about the British monarchy, it is not an easy system. It is run by, yeah, principalities. So when the Lord dropped this in my spirit that Prince Philip died weeks ago, it is truth. I don't doubt it one bit. But you, as I said, you might say, oh, Sister Karen, but why is it that just, they're just releasing it? Because they have the agenda. And another thing that the Lord dropped in my spirit to warn and tell you that it is a distraction. Because the whole media is talking about it. You see, when the enemy is planning something massive, or something you know big is coming they always use things to distract and then they move on to the next that's how they do it hidden in hidden in plain sight okay hidden in plain sight but the whole world brothers and sisters it lies in wicked wickedness wickedness the whole world lies in wickedness and another scripture i'm going to quickly read to you brothers and sisters is Ephesians a very famous very famous um, book and chapter really Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12 and it says for we wrestled not against flesh and blood our battles brothers and sisters and some of the things that we're seeing in the media it is not natural it is spiritual because these people are so wicked so we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. This goes hand in hand with 1 John 5 verse, 19, verse 15, where I say that the whole verse 19, 1 John 5 verse 19, where I said that the whole world lied in that lies in darkness. And these are the two scriptures that the Most High Yah gave to me before I made this video. He said, read it to my people. Go and read 1 John 5, 19 for yourself. And then read Ephesians chapter 12. Ephesians 6, sorry. Ephesians 6 and verse 12. You will understand what we are up against. It is not easy. Unless you are equipped, hallelujah, unless you are equipped spiritually, you will not understand what's going on. You will think that everything is just carnal. That's the way it is. But the Lord is showing you and he's saying to you, no, it's a game. It's a show unto these people. So for we wrestled not against flesh and blood. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Against spiritual wickedness in high places, brothers and sisters. And like I say, they chose the 9th. They chose the 9th of April to... <laughs> To release Prince William's, Prince Philip's death. And like I said, the man is 99. And today's the 9th. So just turn that upside down to get 666. That is just enough to tell you what's going on in this wicked world. But I wanted to come and let you know. Basically, I'm telling you, do not trust the media. Don't, don't trust everything that they're saying. Always take it to the Lord. Always take it to the Most High Yah in prayer. This is the reason why I know about, well, I don't watch the media anyways, but in terms of a wicked man-made pestilent job, you know, when they come out and say, oh, it is good, it is 95% effective, I don't believe it. You take that to the Lord in prayer and say, Lord, is it true? And the Lord will say, no, it is not true. It is wicked. You have to learn to test the spirits, brothers and sisters, in this time and in this season. Because greater deception is coming. Now, like I said, one of the reasons why I believe that they hid that man's death 
and now releasing it is number one is because of the numbers because they have to work with numbers so you get the 666 and number two it is a distraction for it is a distraction for something greater to come don't be asleep church always be awoke always be awoke and understand the times and the seasons that we are in okay right so i just wanted to come and just release this very quick uh little video concerning prince philip passing away all right so be bold be strong be courageous walk with fear just like enoch all praises all beautiful praises to the most high yeah who lives above the heavens yeah I eternally bless you i love you all and i will see you soon someday in glory in jesus christ precious holy name Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.